professional athletes' salaries are not significantly affected by the outcome of a single event. The Cleveland Cavaliers still paid LeBron James over $33 million last season, despite the fact that they were swept by the Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher Clayton Kershaw earned roughly the same amount for his 2018 campaign, which ended with a World Series loss to the Boston Red Sox. Even the Cleveland Browns were compensated for going winless in 2017. There are those athletes like tennis players and golfers whose earnings are dependent on how they finish in a particular tournament. But even then, the biggest paydays are between $1 million and $3 million. And, while last week's winner take all matchup between legends Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson paid the latter $9 million, it pales in comparison to what's at stake in Saturday's title fight between undefeated boxers Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. The winner not only gets Wilder's WBC heavyweight belt, but a likely shot at unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua worth anywhere from $25 million to $50 million, sources estimated to Daily Mail. Com. Scroll down for video that may be well shy of the $300 million Floyd Mayweather Jr. Reportedly made when he toyed with converted MMA star Conor McGregor in 2017, but that purse was in the bank regardless of the outcome. Cashing in on Saturday's fight is contingent on winning. Share this article share they are eating what they kill, said Showtime Sports president Steven Espinoza, whose network holds the pay-per-view rights for Saturday's fight in the U. S. Espinosa's statement may sound like the kind of violent hyperbole used to promote major title fights, like the vitriol being exchanged between Wilder and Fury leading up to Saturday's fight in Los Angeles. But as boxing executives and insiders told DailyMail.com, Saturday's title fight may represent the biggest winner-take-all prize in sports. Overnight the winner will likely become a candidate for the top 10 highest earning athletes in sports, Espinoza told Daily Mail. Calm. Regardless of Saturday's outcome, Wilder and Fury will be paid at least $14 million and $10 million, respectively, easily career highs for both fighters, although Fury has pledged to donate his cut to homeless charities. However, the real prize is the opportunity that comes next with the undefeated Joshua, who was named the most marketable athlete in the world by Sports Pro magazine last year, after earning a technical knockout win over heavyweight legend Vladimir Klitschko in front of a sold-out Wembley Stadium in London. Since then, Joshua passed on a $50 million offer to fight Wilder earlier in 2018, instead opting to fight and knock out Russian challenger Alexander Povetkin on the new streaming service, DAZN. Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn claims they were willing to make a deal and blames Wilder's camp for the failure to do so. A matchroom boxing spokesperson did not respond for a request for comment but, even though the Joshua Wilder fight never took place, the negotiations offer a glimpse into a potential unification belt that would be so profitable, it's seemingly inevitable. According to one source, a potential Joshua Wilder fight was projected to be worth over $100 million earlier in 2018, assuming it took place at an American venue, likely a Las Vegas casino, that would pay around $15 million, with another $55 million to $75 million in pay-per-view earnings and an additional $50 million in ticket sales. Not only did Wilder guarantee Joshua a flat $50 million, according to one source, but he also offered the British gold medalist another $30 million for the rematch should he lose to his American counterpart in the first bout. 
Wilder's take would have been contingent on overall sales patience may have cost Joshua an exorbitant purse at the time, but it's not as though he lost his chance to unify the lucrative heavyweight division, the crown jewel of boxing, according to Wilder's promoter Lou DiBella. The only difference is, Joshua might not have as much leverage the next time he sits down to negotiate. He currently has three titles and a signature win, whereas Wilder is only now facing his first elite opponent. Fury, meanwhile, did have a signature win over Klitschko in 2015, but relinquished his titles while taking a sabbatical to deal with conditioning and substance abuse issues. He says he's clean now and currently weighs a career low 245 pounds after Saturday, Joshua's logical opponent will be coming off his own signature victory with the WBC crown in hand. The winner of that fight will no longer have to chase Anthony Joshua around, DeBello told Daily Mail. Calm. The winner of the fight can say, I'm the man. Call me when you're ready. As several executives were quick to point out, the size of combatants makes these fights easy to market. At 6 FT6, Joshua, an Olympic gold medalist, is the shortest of the group, while the former bronze medalist Wilder stands 6 FT7, and the gargantuan Fury is 6 FT9. Even better, Joshua and Wilder possess a boxing promoter's best friend, terrifying power. Whereas Fury likens himself to former heavyweight champion Larry Holmes for his defensive style and his ability to win on the scorecards, Joshua and Wilder have better knockout rates than Mike Tyson. The heavyweight champion of the world is the mythical strongest man on the planet, boxing manager and former HBO executive Mark Taffet told Daily Mail. Calm. And when the heavyweight champion has a right hand like Deontay Wilder or Anthony Joshua, fans are always attracted and will always gather and tune in. A giant heavyweight with a knockout punch is tailor-made for pay-per-view. Most importantly, boxing's long dormant heavyweight division has the most earning potential, and with an American, Wilder, and two Brits, Joshua and Fury, in a three-way standoff at the top of a class, the sport's biggest markets are in play. Their two most lucrative markets in the world both from a live audience and a television perspective, said Taffet, who is credited with creating the pay-per-view format. That's why Wilder has more at stake on Saturday than Fury, an Englishman by birth who claims Irish heritage. Whereas British fans typically pay less than $20 for pay-per-view fights, Wilder offers a larger American audience that has grown accustomed to paying upwards of $75 for a fight. For instance, Mayweather spouts with boxing legend Manny Pacquiao and McGregor still registered around 5. 7 million and 6 million purchases, respectively, despite being priced at $99.95 at the price point in the U. S roughly $75 to $85 there really is not a ceiling, said Espinoza. We're not saying it will sell like some of the Mayweather fights, but this is entrepreneurship in the truest sense. As one source put it, Fury is fighting for a $25 million or even a $30 million payday against Joshua, whereas Wilder will have between $40 million and $50 million at stake on Saturday. If Wilder wins, he wakes up Sunday morning as a superstar, said DiBella. And he wakes up with earning potential that is astronomically larger than it is now. Obviously nothing is written in stone, and those projections could be affected by a number of factors. Fight location. For one, is significant. 
Joshua may be able to sell out 90,000-seat Wembley Stadium, but ticket prices are minuscule in London compared to Las Vegas, where back row seats can have a $300 face value. As one executive explained, 17,000 in Vegas generates far more than 90,000 at Wembley. And then there is the issue of Joshua's deal with DAZN and whether he'd be allowed, contractually, to fight on pay-per-view, all of those asked expected pay-per-view to triumph should the conflict arise. But if those issues can be ironed out, Saturday's winner has the chance to make the most anticipated heavyweight fight since even Drew Holyfield fought Lennox Lewis fought back in 1999, according to Tevitt, who likens such generational fights to the NFL Super Bowl. Mayweather Pacquiao may have pulled in enough revenue equivalent to a Super Bowl when you take into account all the revenue streams, he said. It was somewhere in the neighborhood of $500 million as a one-night event. Only a Super Bowl can be discussed in the same breath. It's two combatants splitting a tremendous amount of revenue, he continued. One of the things that makes a Fury Wilder fight exciting is because there is so much at stake. The winner versus loser dynamics don't get much bigger than Wilder Fury, knowing that Anthony Joshua is on the horizon.